The world is rapidly evolving, and so is the nature of warfare. The use of advanced technology and weapons has become a critical component of modern warfare. The sixth generation fighter jet is a response to the changing nature of conflict. It is designed to operate in highly contested environments where it needs to be stealthy, agile, and lethal. The sixth generation fighter jet is equipped with the latest technology, which makes it more advanced than any other fighter jet in the world. In this video, we will talk about the Future Combat Air System, or FCAS for short, its capabilities and the impact it will have on the future of European air power. FCAS is a joint project of France, Germany, and Spain. Work on the Next Generation Fighter Project began after French Defense Minister Florence Parley and then German Defense Minister Ursula von der Leyen signed an agreement in April 2018 as a part of the Future Combat Air System Project. Thus, already in 2018, the French company Dassault Aviation presented its own development of a sixth-generation fighter on October 23rd at the Euronaval 2018 exhibition in Paris. Some experts believed that it was visually very similar to the American F-22 fighter jet. The aircraft will replace the French Dassault Rafale and Eurofighter Typhoon. It will be jointly developed by Airbus and Dassault Aviation. The FCAS fighter will be designed as a high-performance and versatile fighter capable of performing a variety of missions, including air and ground combat. The aircraft is also designed to be stealthy, allowing it to operate in competitive airspace without being detected by radar. Next year, a model of a very different machine, similar to the YF-23 prototype, will be shown at the Le Bourget Air Show, which opens on June 17, 2019. At the presentation, the new aircraft was simply called the New Fighter. A test flight is expected around 2027, and commissioning is expected in 2040. Much of the engineer's attention in developing the FCAS will be on developing the software for the future aircraft to create not just a future air platform, but a system of systems consisting of tens of thousands of smoothly interacting elements. For example, the aircraft will be accompanied by modern UAVs. A manned and unmanned version of the aircraft is also planned. As for the size of the aircraft, there is no official information, but some experts believe that it will have dimensions close to the fifth generation F-35 fighter. The aircraft will be designed to be almost invisible to radar, making it difficult for enemies to detect and track. The aircraft will also be equipped with advanced avionics, including sensors and artificial intelligence, which allow it to detect and track targets over long distances. In February 2020, France and Germany formally signed an agreement that marked the beginning of Phase 1A of the development of FCAS. A little earlier on, engine manufacturers Safran and MTU, who are responsible for the heart of the future fighter, its engines, joined the FCAS program. The new aircraft will require much more powerful engines than its predecessors, the Safran M88, which equipped the Dassault Rafale, and higher thrust means much more impressive temperatures. These temperatures can reach over 3,300 degrees Fahrenheit, 1826 Celsius, at the turbine inlet. As a result, the project may have an additional problem with materials. The materials currently used simply cannot withstand such harsh conditions. By 2021, after a series of disagreements between Germany and France during the project, the parties finally managed to reach an agreement on Phase 1B of the FCAS program. The estimated price of the contract was $4.3 billion, distributed out to 2024. After that, the program began to make significant progress, and in January 2021, the French Directorate General of Armaments completed the first test of the FCAS engine, announcing a successful test on the test bench as part of the Turin Defense Technology Project. A month later, Airbus announced the successful launch of a drone from the cargo hold of an A400M. Unfortunately, this progress did not last for a long time. The last big news about FCAS was the speech by Dassault Aviation CEO Eric Trappier at the Paris Air Forum in June 2022, where he spoke about the development of a new generation fighter. Trappier said that the 2040 target has already been missed, and the discussion of the next phase of the aircraft's creation promises to be long, given his forecast of FCAS no earlier than 2050. What do you think of the FCAS project? Does it have a future? Share your thoughts in the comments section.